So today we're going to answer some frequently asked questions while I fill in my brows and do my makeup. And it, these are gonna be old school favorites. So anything, I've, I had to have used this in videos and talk about how much I love it or it's been in a favorite. So this is the Anastasia Brow Powder in dark brown. If y'all hear some noise, it's uh, JoJo's grandmother playing with him. They're having me time right now. Okay, so one of the questions that you all ask me a lot is how many children I have. I have two children and my husband and the kids have been on here a lot. Joseph and Elijah, two boys. And oh, I get this a lot. <laughs> Will I try for a girl? The answer is no. We had a daughter before Joseph and Elijah. And y'all couldn't find an SPF, so I'm using this. Oh, I could have used my BB cream. Dang. Okay. Uh and the more children I have at this point, the more at risk I put them and the more at risk I become. So, you know, you just have to know when you're blessed and just when that journey has ended. If we want more children, we will adopt. Yeah, that's pretty much the answer to that. I do get like, won't you try for a girl? Well, we had a girl and unfortunately she passed away, but we are, um, I think, just think it's at the, in the best interest that we don't because it just puts me at risk and puts the child at risk too. I think I may do a dedicated video. I know that the condition that, um, I have is very common. I'm using the Maybelline BB cream. This I used back in the day and I bought another tube. I've gone through maybe about, I'll say about three or four of these. Another question that I get, how long I've been natural? I've been natural since 2012 without, well, no. Did I big chop after that? I think I big chopped after that. Can't remember. I did Big Chop in 2006. I totally cut off my hair. Had a pixie cut. One be like Halle Berry. I have a short haircut. You know, I don't know about you guys, but when I go through something, I tend to cut off my hair. I think Halle Berry does that too. I think women in general sometimes do that. When they're going through a phase, first thing to go is hair. Comment down below, what goes, when you go through a change, what do you notice that you instantly go for? Do you cut your hair? Do you go on vacation? Do you, you know, go to the spa? Do you get away? Like, what do you do? This is very light. I forgot how light this was. Oh, I'm gonna use my Veil Cosmetics eye pins. Oh, another frequently asked question is, what do I do with the makeup that, when I do my declutters? I think a lot of YouTubers get this. I have approximately like seven sisters and two moms. Okay, so a lot of times they get first dibs. I take makeup to work and let the girls peel through that because they love it. And then I also um, I also give it away. Um, there are um, women in our in our church who love makeup. And they usually get the unopened stuff that I just like haven't opened. And then some of it I sell on Poshmark. Another thing that I do is um, 
I do have giveaways on my channel. I think 20K is coming up, so I'm really excited about that. I'll be doing one around that time. I have seven brothers and sisters who all live in Mississippi still. I'm the only one that left the nest, so to speak. Not really, but everybody has their own. I have some very successful siblings. I have two of them are doctors, one a nurse. Uh, I have a brother who's into IT. I have another one that's into uh, video production. Like, um, yeah, I'll leave it like that. And then, let's see, who am I missing? I have another sister in edu. I have a sister in education. And then I have a brother that's a chef. <laughs> we have so many different like talents that I'm so proud of in our family. Another frequently asked question is about my hair. And oh, how did I found out I was hyperosity? I have a video on that, but I think I'm going to do a dedicated one. I think I've already filmed it. I think I filmed it at Ipsy Studios. How long I've been married? I have been married for, in June it'll be 16 years. So crazy how time flies. I am extremely blessed. My husband is my best friend. I love that. It and y'all yeah, I need some more coverage in my eye I need Glossier I heard that Glossier They're, they just opened a Glossier here in LA I am so excited because I've been wanting to get some things from them I wish Glossier would make that stretch concealer a stretch concealer into a foundation. I like really like the mo how emollient that is. Actually, I got into makeup because <sighs> this is so funny. Mac was supposed to come to my wedding and do my makeup. Well, be at my wedding. I had gone and gotten a trial, and there was a girl that was supposed to come, did not show up. Later, I ended up working for the company, but I didn't hold that against them because. Her professionalism didn't have to do with Mac necessarily because when you're a freelance, she was freelance. She actually got a job at Juilliard, which I can congratulate her, but she didn't have to leave me hanging like that. You know what I mean? So basically I got into makeup, so I'll never be left hanging again. And I promised myself that I wouldn't leave others hanging. If I made a commitment, I was gonna be there. So, that's that. I don't get the how old I am, which I'm glad. <laughs> Cause down south that's kind of like disrespectful to ask a woman's age. I think that's anywhere. Do y'all just ask people how old they are? How do you feel about somebody saying, how old are you? I don't like it. I feel like you don't know me like that. You know what I mean? But everybody's different. Like there's a difference of me telling you and then somebody asking, especially when they don't know you. Like I'm like, what? You ask what? So yeah, that's how I feel about it. So I do get the question, is this my full-time gig or I mean, is this, is is YouTube full time or am I part time or like what do I do? I do have a nine to five and I am in IT as well. I'm good at what I do. If I must say so my well. Okay. I am I used to love the sweet peach. That was sweet peach, the semi sweet. I like love the 
I am not like I can do a dramatic look but I guess my thing is like my look isn't like Instagram Instagram ish I don't know what I mean I don't know I think that there's nothing wrong with Instagram looks I feel like you know what in makeup artistry you need to know what kind of makeup you want to do and I actually like this look. I have not bronzed, y'all. I miss how smooth these are. I was like, oh, this is why I like it. I really want to warm up the eye and then go in with some cool tones. I feel like a color like this, this is the color peanut butter. It is, this is like one of my favorite colors in general, but this is one of my favorite from Too Faced. If not my favorite color, this is the color I always gravitate towards and I'm surprised that I haven't hit pan yet. This color is still so good. I'm like, yes, that's what I like. This blueberry swirl for my lower lash line. I feel like I've kind of done this before, but I love this blue. It's like a teal, not too loud, not as loud as the blue in Kim Kardashian's palette. I mean, I have a blue like that, so I don't mind. Love playing the makeup. Okay, let's try to clean this up. I'm gonna take this powder and I'm just going to make a mound of powder and put it on that brush. And I'm going to just make two face dark chocolate so that used to be my jam. I'm going to use it today. I just wanted to play and make it today, you know what I mean? I don't know this is a little extreme for some of y'all, but for someone who is a makeup artist, this is like a playground. A lot of people don't know what to do with a tapered type of brush like this, but to me, this is one of the best in terms of bronzers because it distributes the product right at the end and you can kind of control where it is. So since it's right at the end, I can go here and then if I press down, it'll blend it. Hope that makes sense. Trying to get rid of those harsh lines and then I'm gonna go along here. Let's do I wanna do it? I better do a lash today, right? This is bothering me. Okay, this um, is shot. And I just ruined my, I feel like I ruined my whole look. The only way I can fix this is if I make this smoky. Let's do that. I'm using licorice. And let's see. I'm gonna smush this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make it. Just gonna start diffusing the color by blending it. I'm gonna take the shade that I had with peanut butter on it. I'm gonna take a little bit of the peanut butter and I am going to blend peanut butter down. Y'all, I kid you not, this is how I fix a problem. I'm going back under here just to clean up any fallout that I have. Oh, 
um, I'm gonna put my lashes on a little bit later. But I do want to show you guys. I got some skincare from Sonic. So I got the Glow 2 pads, the Soothing Mist. This is a skincare system that I'll be trying. Souffle Cream, the Tulsi Soothing Tri Clay Mask. Y'all know who's there. A cleansing Cream. This is a Vitamin C Serum. Ooh, they gave me some nice stuff. Thank you. High Endurance Cream. I'm taking it. This is like day and night. Um, a SPF 30, like a Protect Plus. A Lightning Serum and a Luster Cream. I told you guys, I like, like skincare systems when I want to try because I feel like that's when you get the optimal. Okay, so we are off. We will see you in a few. Okay, bye.